Welcome to section 4. In this section, we are going to talk about using arithmetic, logical and comparison operators in SAS. In this video, we will talk about introduction to arithmetic operators. Using arithmetic operators is a part of the data statement in SAS. Typically, when the user wants to perform a calculation with or existing numeric variable in the data set, we use arithmetic operators to perform such a calculation. The new variable could be calculating BMI based on height and weight of a person. The requirement is that the underlying existing variable has to be essentially a numeric variable, thereby paving way for a calculation to be done. The following are arithmetic operators in SAS. I have also given examples to make the concept more clear. So, star star means exponentiation, typically when we talk of square and cube. So, as an example, I have given 3 star star 2, which means 3 raised to the power 2 or 3 square. Star would mean multiplication. So, for example, 4 star 2 would be multiplying 4 into Slash would mean division. So, as an example, 8 divided by 2 would be divide 8 by 2. Plus would mean addition. So, 8 plus 2. So, explanation of this would be addition of 8 and 2. Minus would be subtraction. So, 10 minus 2 is subtract 2 from 10. Finally, summarizing the video, the following are the takeaways from the video while using arithmetic operators in SAS. Firstly, it is a part of the data statement and it creates a new data set and a new variable. The set statement is on the existing data set on which a calculation has to be performed. Then underlying the existing variable has to be a numeric variable. By performing the calculation, a new data set is created and a new variable is created. And you have to verify the data set and the new variable. And finally, you have to realize that the data set will be created in the work library, which is a temporary data set. So let us perform an example of arithmetic operators in SAS. Well, we have performed this operation already when we did section 4, but we will do it again so that you can link both the sections together. So, proc contents data is equal to sas help dot cars I think you remember this data set when we did arithmetic operators or deriving new variables in section 4 so I'm running this code and you will get the result so you've got the results this is a data set sas help dot cars which has 428 observations and 15 variables. We have two variables which are numeric type, invoice and MSR. And I presume that we can calculate another variable based on these two variables. So then we had run the code for printing a few observations. Proc print data equals sas help dot cars. We'll take only 10 observations. Obs equals 10 not forgetting the semicolon run so this will print only 10 observations from this particular data set so i'm printing 10 observations check the results window and you will see the 10 observations which have been printed of this data set now we will create another data set using the arithmetic operator so data data set underscore new set sas help dot cars now let us perform an addition total underscore price is equal to msrp plus invoice so you can see that both these variables msrp and invoice are numeric variables which is why we are able to perform the addition and finally you run select the entire code 
and click on run. So this is our new data set, MSR data set underscore new and you have finally the total price which is the last variable and which is an addition of the two variables msrp and invoice so going back to our code let us run a proc print for 10 observations for these three variables so proc print data is equal to data set underscore new obs equals 10 then put a var statement to specify the variables uh, m msrp in voice and total underscore price semicolon run so i select this code again just to verify that the contents of the observations are correctly populated or not so in the results window you will see that the contents have been correctly populated in fact the addition of these two variables is the total price 